morning, everyone. All right, so today I gotta go shopping again, and I'm taking the little rug rat with me because Maddie's working, and Jay's at the grandparents. So I thought I would explain real quick the situation with Maddie and I's schedule. So Maddie works five days in a row, every two weeks, and in those five days are two twelves. So we call that H E double hockey sticks week. All right. Um, so she'll Wednesday she'll work an eight, Thursday a twelve, Friday a twelve, and then Saturday and Sunday eights. But then every other weekend she gets four days off in a row. So it's kind of like two mini vacations. And then she can also be there every Monday and Tuesday for the kids. And we go on our day date every Monday. So I love our schedule. It's a little weird um, compared to the nine to fives, but it works great for us and allows time to be with Jay and Seb and allows time for us. So that's why a lot of times Maddie isn't around because she's working a different shift, totally late shift. But how awesome is my wife? I get up, Spash and I are getting up. We're like, ah, oh, we come downstairs. And then this is all spread out. So after working and I have another 12 today, my wife does this. I love her. She is so cute. So awesome. Check it out. First one. That's for Sebastian. So of course we both did that. Number two. And there's the book. And then there is the schoolwork. Bam! Mom is so good. So good. That's why I married her, guys. She's just awesome in every single way. And then I got some really cool, exciting news. This is my first Patreon donation to our page from an awesome family, and you guys know who you are, that we found in the You Now channel. So Sebastian made the little thank you, because obviously, Jay, fine motor skills aren't that good. And with any type of donation on the you now or on the uh, patron page you get an autism dad dad you now bumper sticker whether or not you want it you can just let me know but they actually want it and they're going to put it on their suv and autism dad dad is now going to be in minnesota driving around kind of exciting and where we got one in louisiana we're going to have one um in different places so hopefully as patrons grow so will the bumper stickers. So if you don't know about Patreon, it's just a website that's in my description. A lot of YouTubers do it, whether you're music or uh, cooking or beauty or you know spreading awareness with your autism story with your family. So it's in the description. If you ever wanna check it out, what I really ask people if they are interested, just I'm asking for $1 a month to come straight out of your bank account. If you feel it in your heart to do more, God bless you. But $1 a month breaks down to a quarter a week. So I think that's pretty reasonable if you guys are at all interested in supporting um, what my wife and I are doing with our respite program with the church, because it's gonna take up a lot of time and effort. And if you don't know about what my wife and I are doing, feel free to ask in the comments below. So proud of my wife. And then how we found them and that family that gave us that sweet donation was You Now. And You Now is a wonderful free phone app, guys. So check out You Now. There's other autism families on there. Father and Autism's on there. Kevin Chapman's on there. Um, shout out to those, those families. Uh, but it's, it's just phenomenal. I've met so many wonderful people. And we all go in there and we have fun. But when people are having moments or bad times, bad days, we share our, share our moments, share our times. And again, no judgment, nothing but love. Anyone is welcome into the room. So with you now and patron, I covered both. I normally don't like to cover stuff because I just like just talk about life and our family. But sometimes that has to be said. So with that said, Sebastian and I are off to the thrift stores. And I have a little surprise for him later in the video. So make sure you check that out. It should be very fun and <laughs> something different. But uh, Jay's gone, Maddie's gone, and it's a boy's day again. All right, catch you on the road.
guys, so I'm sitting in traffic. All this chaos is going on just to get to the thrift store. And the radio comes on, and I'm on Sports Talk Radio, and they're suddenly sponsoring an event for autism, which is always fantastic, spreading awareness. But here, it was, it was impressive to hear the guy say, because he was a sports guy, and he said, one in 59 kids are now diagnosed with autism. And just so you know, that's the number I've been saying for the past year. And I've got a lot of people that are like, really? Are you sure about that? Yes. That's why Madi and I go to these big conferences and try to stay educated. And then when Jay was born all 11 years ago, or diagnosed 10 years ago, uh, around there, it was one in two eleven. So it's grown that much. I had to share that because Sebastian, he actually heard the word autism first because I was trying to drive and focus and I'm just sitting here in traffic now. But I just wanted to share that. That was pretty cool. Excuse me. Hmm. Uh, finishing my Mountain Dew from yesterday. One in 59, guys. What is going on? It can't just be in the water. But that was a little interlude. Off to the shift store. Let's go. Another interruption on the day. Total interlude. Sorry, wherever the day takes me, I follow. I have no rhyme or reason on these videos. So we just finished the first thrift store and it's right by my old stomping ground where I grew up um, until I was eight years old. But Sebastian's never been with me when I went to this area or this thrift store. So he's never actually seen um, where I grew up or the house I grew up in. So I said, what a perfect timing. We're right down the street. Ah, good old Raymond Street. Great memories, and I know it's probably completely different. But I just wanted to show Seb, even though he's six and probably won't remember it, I'm getting a little sentimental. So come on with me, and I'll show you where I grew up as a child. Northeast Ohio! All right, guys. If you can see in the background there's like a fence yeah. and I just showed you guys an empty like area and lot so that used to be an elementary and what was really cool about growing up here is that whole back area was my yard and my playground with my brother and I so we just chopped the fence we played baseball football uh, go on the rides the rides the playground and then another cool thing we do is we play wall ball. Wall? Who's old enough to know what wall ball is? Is that just an Ohio thing? So you put a little box uh, on the chalk on a brick wall, and that's your strike zone. And then you have a catcher. And then there's a pitcher, a hitter, and an outfielder. So since I was the little brother, I was always the outfielder. What? So that's what we did. We played wall ball. And it's kind of... Man, I, I haven't been here in 20 years. It's, it's it's definitely interesting. And my dad put up a little basketball hoop. Who was shocking for him because he was a straight baseball player. And he, of course, his son falls in love with Daddy, basketball. That's someone else's house. Yeah, buddy, that's someone else's house. So that's all I wanted to say. I just had never seen my old house. I was born here in 1977, guys. Yep, so that's it. Thank you for bearing with me on this. But I just wanted to show Seb. And it's, it's weird not having the school there. Totally different atmosphere. But it was a great childhood. Thank you, parents. Alright. <laughs> 
he's going to find, he's going to find. So the deal was, at every store you can buy one thing. Alright, you get one choice on whatever you want since you're being a good boy. Shopping's over. Sebastian was a champ. Thank you, Sebastian. Whoop. So now we got a cool treat for everyone. Oh, my hand. I'm sorry. I use a phone. I really don't care about my recordings that well or that much. Bad grammar. So the treat is this. My buddy, Uncle Rick, if you're watching, gave us a free coupon for 12 donuts and Krispy Kreme guys if you don't know about Krispy Kreme I'm pretty sure it's national but if you don't know about Krispy Kreme mm, you need to get some Krispy Kreme donuts so this is like a fundraiser we got we got a free 12 dozen donuts so let's go on in and let's introduce you to Krispy Kreme and this is Sebastian's reward for being such a good boy today we're gonna have some fun and he's thirsty Let's get the boy fed. Drinks, food, now, go. I hope you guys like the little tour of the place. It's hard to see through the glass. But Seb's first time, he gave it two thumbs up. Thank you for following along on the video today. And please, if you haven't, just remember, subscribe below. And most importantly, if you are subscribed, hit the bell notification. I keep forgetting to say that, but the bell notification reminds you guys every time a video is posted. Just like Seb's showing. Subscribe, notification. You guys thank you so much again for coming on our journey and, and always I got some great comments today from yesterday's videos last two days video so I appreciate your comments and I appreciate the community that is autism and the awareness that we are spreading and helping each other out thank you guys till next time from Krispy Kreme we're out of here yeah.